Hey guys, welcome to the last part of our basic tutorial from Blender to KT. So basically on the second part we were doing a very quick preset GI quick render right here. And I was saying it's a it's a quick and nice way of checking in a general way what our render is going to look like. So when it's done, click on this icon and see the image and this is what we got in a very very quick way. So um, we were saying that even though we don't have any blender lights present or any of the KT's light sources here, turning a mesh into an emitter, it will make it really become a light source. So if you check over here on top of the three spheres, we have our, em our emitter and it's generating, it's casting shadows properly on top of the floor and also the other material we changed was the floor into a reflective material and you can see here the reflection of the spheres on it. So basically this is it. So now what you guys gotta do is check the forums because Patrick's uh, U3D Real, Clippy and, all, and some others have written some very very cool tutorials about materials, lighting, rendering that will take your rendering experience with AT further. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and I hope to see you guys around. Bye bye.